Welcome, this is your Stratoshazer Gamer. I promise I will be coming back with a review video, not just yet. <sighs> priorities, priorities. So, I am at the point of the game where I believe most of the people who are actually playing this game would be. I am level 13, I guess, right now with my second account. Um, I cleared difficulty normal, difficulty heroic, and I'm about to start the third one, but uh, my team is not yet ready. I believe my team is around 9k total, so it should probably be far <laughs> from being able to actually clear the third difficulty. So, time to gather resources. So, once I get through the week, what I need to make six stars out of my characters, I will have them. But then, what resources do we need? And how do we collect those resources? I've been getting a little bit from my own experience. And from videos I've been watching in the, over the internet, uh, we've had a okay number of videos launched during this weekend. And between those things, I was able to come up with what I believe is a very good strategy. So you see here, I have two of my main characters and two fathers, food characters. So, um, having food characters, and again, depending on what you have and your friends, you could even have more than just two, but this is what works best for me. Um, what you can do is you go to a location that will allow for you to farm the fruits you need to uh, evolve your five stars to six stars. Also, aside from the fruits, you go to a location which will allow you to get mobs, other food characters, monsters. So you either have the fruits that you need or the monsters. Once you get those monsters, instead of feeding them for XP or instead of selling them right away, you level them to, I've had 11, 13, 14, so it's something, uh, it's not yet perfect, so I don't know where's the sweet spot, but let's just say 13. It's not a big deal. You can do that in just a few runs. All right, so now I have a place that generates this food. I have the food playing with me, and of course, again, I need a good friend. Right now, it's not a difficult thing. Could be easier, faster, or better. I'm also making a little bit of money. And then... So I got a fruit here. I've had cases where they had eaten two mobs and one fruit. So what, what should I do here? So again, I am playing on the Elven border, level eight. You see that I have the dark and the wind fruits, and I can have possibly two of those different mobs. And I've actually had three of those things drop at the same time for me. So once you get them, what, what can you do? So what you can do, you go here to heroes, sell heroes so let's just imagine we were going to sell our regular heroes for example this mob this mob would give you uh 1500 gold and five of those crystals so when you sell a level 14 you get a little bit more of money 2100 but look at the crystals from 7 to 18. 
just by playing a fair small number of times. So you got okay uh, amount of money. It's like the equivalent of one scenario per character. And you can do that super fast. I've been doing that for less than an hour. Uh, and I've set an episode uh, four mobs already, and I have gotten another five or four. I don't know. So, uh, and again, I'm farming the fruits that I need. And again, I'm giving my main characters XP, the XP that I need. So what can you do once you get more of those crystals? So if you go to the shop and crystals, you see that you can collect three to five star heroes and even four to five star heroes, plus the souls that you may need or the gear that you need to improve your equipment. There's a lot you can do with crystals, as a matter of fact. I need a DPS. I have stated that before and didn't change that. I tried an offline. <laughs> no, that was with my sons. But anyway, um, my summons haven't been too kind to me, at least not for the DPS guys. But I do plan to keep playing. And then I have lots of energy here. Um, I'm okay gold-wise, but I'm far from being able to summon again. So that's my next hope. So. Doing a recap by going into an adventure, picking a scenario that will uh, provide you. So you'd say, well, I don't like, I don't have green characters or dark characters. Okay, you can go somewhere else. Just, it's very nice. I don't even have a dark character, although I don't think it's a bad thing just to get some of those once I get one. But I do need... This for my green character, my wind character. And but what I like it very much the fact that I have two of those. So you get experience, you get gold, you get the four things that you need, and once you get inside of the battle, Let me try with three guys. Maximizing my... So once you get inside of the battle... Thank you very much, Ben Parion, for providing me with your hero as a friend. And you see he's only level 35. If he were 40... um. Chances would be that I could be able to do that much faster than I'm about to, to do, as you guys are going to be able to see. So, of course, the three guys that I'm taking in just for the journey, they're not going to be doing anything uh, significant. Uh, it's going to actually take time. But if you had someone who would be able to do more damage than my friend here is doing right now, we would be killing this really fast. And then, so that's that's... The why that that's why you need a level forty DPS with very fast, uh, high rates. Um, but again, once we get him to work, we could do that in thirty seconds or less. I've seen this done over the internet by another person in very few seconds. Uh, the person did mention the exercise of leveling up, and I'm sorry I cannot remember the name. It's just um, um, a video that was not entirely in English as well. But again, very nice idea. But I'm just adding to that by saying, just go somewhere else where you can get fruit. And then use your characters that not, my, might not be full level, like my healer, which is not full level. Um, and I just hope she heals him. <laughs> um, voila. And then... I'm going to 
be able to clear that. It's going to take a little bit more time compared to when I had 3 DPS, so I probably will just circle back to having 3 DPS. And then there you go. You sell them, you get your crystals, and you start getting your four or five star characters that you want so badly for both skill ups and then to complete your party. Uh, I hope this is going to be usual for you guys. It's a very good way for us that need to go from where we are to level, uh, um, to the level uh, we are able to finally take on the final stages of this game. And leave your comments. This was your Strategizer Gamer. Thank you very much for wa watching. See you later. Have a good night.